When you are working in Blender, especially in edit mode, the 3D cursor sometimes blocks our view. Otherwise also, it might be just annoying sometimes. If you want to hide this cursor, open this drop-down that has several options for the viewport overlays, and uncheck this 3D cursor option. So, the 3D cursor won't be visible anymore. You can always bring it back when needed. Now, let us cover some other points about this 3D cursor. For example, if you want to move the 3D cursor to the origin point of some object, first select that object. Then in the object menu, go to the section called Snap, and select this option, Cursor to Selected. As a result, we can see that Blender has moved the 3D cursor to the center of this cube object. Now, if you want to move the cursor to the center of this rectangular face, that is also easy. First, go to the Edit mode. Then, enable the Face Selection mode. Deselect everything and select the face where you want the 3D cursor to go. Then go to the Mesh menu. Under the section called Snap, select the option, Cursor to Selected. The 3D cursor is now at the geometrical center of the face you have selected. Likewise, you can also select a particular vertex of any object, and move the 3D cursor to this vertex location. For that, go to the Mesh menu, and select the same option, Cursor to Selected. So the 3D cursor will be moved to this vertex. Let us go back to the object mode. Now, if you want to move the 3D cursor back to the world origin here, simply go to the object menu and under snap, select cursor to world origin. So the cursor is back to the center. And for some reason, if you ever want to fine tune the exact location of this 3D cursor, you can open this small toolbox on the right. Alternatively, press N on your keyboard to toggle the display of this toolbox. Now go to the view tab. Here, you have the 3D cursor location. You can enter the desired coordinate values precisely, and the cursor will move to that exact location. So, that was a very quick guide on the 3D cursor in Blender. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.